Hi everyone, I am Ariel Lim, and this is Ariel Lim Yoga. So you know who I am, you know what we're doing. Thank you for joining me on the mat today for Yoga Refresh. So today's practice, we will move through a nice gentle practice. Okay, fine, there's one challenging pose for us today, but hopefully by the end of our practice, you will feel refreshed and ready to take on the rest of your day, week, month, whatever it is that you are moving forward to do after you get off the mat. So we'll start in a nice comfortable seated position. I'm in half lotus. You can join me here. You can be in Sukhasana or really any seated position that feels good to you today. We'll grow heavy in the lower body. Bring the thighs and the glutes, everything from the waist down, nice and flush with our mat. As our spine begins to grow nice and long, reaching the crown of the head up towards the sky or your ceiling, we'll relax those shoulders away from the ears, closing our eyes here, taking a moment to scan our bodies, notice how we're feeling today. Notice where we can bring breath and movement as we flow. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose, and exhale out of the mouth. Just settling into our practice here. One more nice deep breath through the nose. And exhale. You can open your eyes here, keep them closed as we begin to make nodding motions with our head, saying yes, getting a nice stretch in the back of the neck. Couple more nods. And then we'll begin to shake our head no, gazing over each shoulder. Finding a pace that feels good in your neck. Everybody will look a little bit different and that is A-OK, -okay, my friend. Beautiful, we'll come back to center. We'll walk our left fingertips out to our side until we get a nice little stretch in the neck and we'll begin to bring the right ear towards the right shoulder. Take a nice deep breath here, breathing up through the fingertips, through the side of the neck. And exhale, let it flow back down, getting rid of anything that no longer serves you, any tension, stress, let it melt away. On your next inhale, maybe you bring the right hand to the top of the head, gently resting it here, just a little more depth in your stretch with the added weight of your hand. No need to push or press. Take a nice deep inhale here. And exhale. Beautiful. We'll relax the right arm down, walking those fingertips up, bringing our head back through center. You can Bring your left hand wherever feels good and bring that left ear to the left shoulder. Same deal here. We'll breathe up through those right fingertips, up through the neck. And as you exhale, wash away any stress here. On your next inhale, you can bring that left hand to the top of the head if you'd like, taking a nice deep, full breath. And exhale, let it go. Beautiful. We'll relax the hands down. We'll bring the hands to the knees here. We're going to move into some seated cat cows. So on an inhale, we're going to arch the spine here. Bring the chest forward. Think cow pose. Pull those shoulders back. And then we'll exhale to curve the spine, bring those shoulders forward, bring the chin to the chest. Think cat pose here. Inhale to come forward. And exhale back into your cat, really articulating that curve in the spine, getting a nice stretch here. Taking a couple rounds at your own pace.
One more round. Inhaling forward for our cow pose. And exhale to our cat. And then we'll make our way to a tabletop position. In our tabletop position, we'll stack the body with the shoulders above the wrists, the hips above the knees, the tops of the feet are flat on the mat. We'll spread our fingertips nice and wide, pressing evenly throughout the fingers and the thumbs. And we'll move into some traditional cat cows here in our tabletop position. Dropping the belly, lifting the chin, inhale. Exhale, curve that spine, bring it towards the ceiling as you press the ground away, bring the chin to the chest for cat. Moving in and out of our cats and cows at our own pace. Noticing how the stretch might change as we Move from the seated version to the tabletop version. Couple more rounds here. And then we'll find our neutral tabletop position. Take a nice deep inhale. We'll reach the right arm up towards the ceiling or the sky and exhale to thread the needle bringing the right shoulder and the right ear to the mat you can wrap that left arm around reaching towards the right hip crease for a bind or you can keep the hand planted for stability taking a few breaths here breathing into those shoulders the upper back This is one of my one of my favorite stretches. I really enjoy this pose. Take a nice full deep breath. And exhale to release the left hand to the mat if you were in a bind and press back up to your tabletop position. We'll take a nice deep inhale and rise that left arm up towards the sky and exhale to thread the needle on this side bringing the left ear and shoulder to the mat you can take that bind reaching the right hand around towards the left hip crease taking a few breaths here Take one more nice, full, deep breath. And exhale to release the right hand to the mat if you are in your bind. And we'll press ourselves back up to a tabletop. Bring the big toes to touch. Extend the knees out nice and wide and come back for a child's pose. You can walk the hands forward as you lower the chest or the forehead to the mat. Taking a couple breaths here. We'll inhale to press ourselves up and begin to walk our hands over off of the mat to the left side. You can bring the right hand to the top of the left hand. Take a nice deep breath and exhale to fold into that child pose with a nice side body stretch. Feeling that stretch along the right side of the body, the shoulders, the arms. Take another nice deep breath here. Exhale. And then we'll walk through center and take it to the right, bringing the left hand on top of the right. Inhale and exhale to fold. 
noticing the stretch from the hip crease all the way through the left fingertips. Take another nice full breath here. And exhale. We'll come back through center and then we'll pull ourselves forward onto our bellies, bringing the tops of our legs and our feet to the mat. We'll bring our hands in line with our rib cage, tuck those elbows in, and inhale up for cobra. We'll exhale to gaze over towards the right foot, looking over the right shoulder. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale, we'll come back through center. Take another nice deep breath here. And then we'll exhale to gaze towards the left foot, gazing over that left shoulder. Take a nice full breath. And exhale, we'll come back through center. We'll lower all the way to the belly. You can use your left forearm as a pillow here or place it across the front of your mat for a little support as we reach back towards the right foot we're going to move into half bow pose so we're going to press our hand uh, sorry our foot up into our hand lifting the leg up off the floor we'll hold for three hold for two and for one release the leg and the top of the foot to the mat We'll take that to the other side. So you can bring the right forearm across the front of your mat for some stability as you reach back towards the left foot. And then we'll kick that left foot up into the hand for a half bow posture here. Three, hold for two, and one. Release for just a moment. You can stack the forearms and take a breath here before we move into our challenging pose for our practice, a full bow pose. Beautiful. Now, from here, we're going to lift our feet up. We're gonna reach back with our hands to grab the tops of our feet on the outside edge. And when you're ready on an inhale, we are going to lift our chest, kick those feet into the hands for bow pose, holding for three. You've got this. Press down with those hips, holding for two, holding for one. Release the feet, release the hands to the mat by your rib cage, and we'll press ourselves up and back. For child's pose, this time the legs will stay together. We'll sweep the hands back, palms facing the sky, lowering our forehead, taking a few breaths here. <sighs> Breathing into the low back, counteracting that little bit of a back bend we did in our bow posture. <sighs> Beautiful. From here, we'll press ourselves up, cross the ankles, and bring the feet forward, out in front. You can find a little bend in the knees if you would like. We'll sit up nice and tall, reach the arms up towards the sky, and we'll take a forward fold, leading with the chest and letting the hands rest wherever they land today. Maybe you're reaching the feet or the ankles or the shins, maybe even the thighs, wherever they are, it is all good. Take a nice deep inhale, maybe find a little more space in the spine to fold as you exhale. One more breath here. And exhale. We'll roll ourselves up to seated and then we'll bring the right foot into the inside of the left thigh. You might 
move the left foot out just a little bit if you would like a little more space for your hips. We'll square our chest with our left foot, whichever position that leg is in. We'll inhale to rise the arms up and overhead, and we'll exhale to fold here. Noticing how the stretch changes when we move it to one leg or move the position of the leg, feeling it maybe a little further up the back and along the right side body. Take another nice deep breath here. And then we'll exhale to roll back up to seated. And we'll take a little counter twist to the right, bringing the left hand to the left thigh or knee, gazing over that right shoulder. Inhale to sit up nice and tall. And exhale, maybe you can deepen your twist. Beautiful. We'll come back through center. Extend the right leg out in front and we'll bend the left leg, bringing the sole of the foot to the right thigh. Again, you can have your right leg straight or you can bring it out a little bit, squaring your chest with your right foot. We'll inhale to lift the arms up and overhead and exhale to fold. Notice how maybe this stretch feels different on the right side versus the left. I have a little bit of soreness still in my right hamstring, so I definitely feel this one a little more. So we'll take it nice and easy, listening to our body. It will always tell us what it needs. One more breath. Let it go. And then we'll roll back up to seated. We'll bring the soles of the feet together for Baddha Konasana, our bound angle pose. We'll sit up nice and tall. You can hold the ankles here. Maybe you give your feet a little massage, rubbing the inside of the feet with your thumbs. Just holding here for a moment, letting gravity gently bring your knees closer towards the floor. You may never get anywhere near the floor and that is all good. It is just that intention of creating space. We'll sit up nice and tall and then inhale. And we'll begin to hinge forward at the waist. Maybe you press the elbows into the thighs for a little extra resistance as you lead with the chest towards the front of your mat. Coming down as far as feels good in your low back, in your inner thighs. An excellent hip opening stretch. Take a nice full deep breath here. Let it go. Use your next inhale to come back up through seated. And then we'll move back into a nice, comfortable seated posture. I'm moving back into my half lotus. We'll sit up tall, finding length in that by reaching the crown of the head once more towards the sky. Close the eyes. Take an inhale as we rise the arms up and overhead. The palms will meet and we'll exhale those hands to heart center. Spending a moment here. Enjoying this refreshing energy that we've cultivated in our practice today. Extending gratitude to ourselves for coming to the mat, doing something beautiful for our bodies, for our spirits. Take another nice full deep breath here. 
and exhale. <sighs> Open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today for Yoga Refresh. I hope this nice little practice is leaving you feeling wonderful and ready to take on the rest of your day. I hope to see you on the mat again soon. And as always, from my heart to yours.